Let's display a lot of photos using the script called Mosaic Maker. First of all, when you start the script, you get the instructions of what this script is going to make. So you will get a project and you will choose the size and various other settings. So let's accept. Now you choose the size of your project. You can go from as small as 1000 by 1000 pixels to 7200 by 7200, which would mean about 24 inches by 24 inches. It's really up to you. I'll use 3600 by 3600, which is the standard size for a scrapbook page of 12 by 12. I can decide how many images I want. So maybe I want to have six rows and six columns. I'm now instructed to open one photo because what will happen is that the script will take all the photos in a single folder. So you have to plan ahead and have all your images in that one folder. So I will open this folder of soccer pictures and I have to reactivate the blank image. So now the blank image is on top. If you don't have the option to have the photos side by side, make sure that under window you have unchecked the tabbed documents. So now that my blank image is reactivated, I will run the script again for the second part. The script will count the number of photos and compare it with the number of spaces that you are expecting based on the number of rows and columns that you indicated earlier. In this case, I have more photos than I need, so it can take either the first 36 or randomize them and pick 36 out of the 44 photos. If I had fewer photos, it would use them all and I would end up with some empty space. I'm okay with using only 36 photos out of the 44. And I would like to have them picked randomly. And maybe in between, I'll let the script create a gap of 20 pixels. This will just give me room for making some frames. And I have options for rectangular, ellipse, or other arrangements. I'll just take the regular rectangular shape, which is kind of standard. And the script will take every image and crop them to match the sizes. And we'll do that for all the photos that it will use. Now let's speed that up. Now you have to op the option to link all the layers in case you want to move them around, but I don't need that. And now I am done. So as you can see, I have all those guides. This allows me to change the order of some of the photos. So I can use my move tool and move this photo, for example, here instead, and it will snap as long as I have the snap to guide. So it's up to you making sure that you have it snap there and then it will stay in place. You also have the option of removing some photos. So I might activate this layer and hit the delete key. Maybe I want to remove these photos. 
maybe I want to get this one simply larger. So I can use my pick tool and enlarge it. And I get one photo that is focused. I can do that somewhere else if I want. I can also at the bottom on the very first layer, which is blank, I can flood fill with a color. So I can use the black, for example, or I can use yellow or any other color I want. I can also remove some images. to allow for a title or text or some kind of a story. So this script allows you a lot of flexibility. When you're done, you can hide the guides and you can right click and merge all the visible layers together or merge them to a new layer if you want to keep all the individual layers intact for future projects. Now it's your turn to create a mosaic of photos of your own. Have fun!